So welcome back everyone and it is haul time. Another one, another one. Um, I mentioned that it was three for two on Superdrug and I just couldn't miss out and I had to, you're not going to believe what I ordered. I had to order some palettes that I don't have um, and they're all for Makeup Revolution. Not all of them actually, one isn't and I'll show you that in a minute. I ordered five of their Redemption four pound palettes with, um, they've got 12 Am I right in saying they've got 12, 3, 6, 9, 12? Yeah, 12 shadows, really big shadows. And um, I really wanted to get something very different, something exciting. Um, I say exciting, they look like all my other palettes. I better hide them. Um, so I'll go through the ones that I bought. I bought the Redemption Palette Iconic Elements, which is this lovely, um, there's one shimmer in here actually just one shimmer i love that really neutral palette great everyday matte palette this highlight that's there looks like it would be an ideal highlight for the cheeks and also you could use it on the um as a brow bone highlight this would be really good because it's matte as a um eyebrow palette so um, get your hands on that if you can. It's four pounds. <laughs> Absolutely why I'm going for these. Then I went for the Essential Mattes Palette. Now I love my matte palettes and Makeup Revolution are really quite incredible actually. This is really lovely. Um, so you've got your neutrals down this side. It looks very similar to the last one, doesn't it? But it's also got the darker colours down here and a bit smoky, actually. I think that would make a lovely smoky eye. So absolutely loving that. And I couldn't get one without two. So I decided to get the Essential Mattes 2, which is a bit warmer. Um, some rosier tones there. The other one was a bit cooler. I cannot wait to try these. These are not dupes for anything. I quite like them. Um, I'm so excited to get into them. I love makeup. And that was three for two. So altogether those three palettes would have been eight pounds. And then I bought the Redemption palette Hot Smoked. I want to try and get into some more smoky eyed looks. I did one the other day, I really enjoyed it, but I think this looks incredible. It is quite shimmery. There are one, two, three, four, five mattes the rest shimmers out the 12 so that's seven shimmers that looks so lovely as well i particularly like these brighter colors here i want to maybe try i saw kathleen lights um she had a blue eyeshadow on now i've always thought blue eyeshadow are you actually kidding me never gonna wear it how she wore it just looked so stunning i just thought there's i've got to do it i've got to do what she's just done i don't know how she did it but i've got to attempt it because it looked stunning on her and then finally, I got the Redemption palette, Romantic Smoked. Again, another smoky palette. I just can't wait to get into that. It has um, two, four, six. Oh, okay, half of it. So from here to here, it is shimmers and the rest is mattes. And they look like they're the same sort of colors in mattes as they are in shimmers. I just, I can't wait to get into it. So, um, before I get to the most exciting one, this I have on my nails now and it is the Lottie London. I've never tried their nail polishes before but the packaging is just adorable. I love square bottles of nail polish, although I really like my H&M ones as well. I really love the packaging of nail polish. This is the colour I've been looking for, this um, mauve grey, it's just so lovely and I saw um, a matte polish by Essie that was worn by... Anna, Anna from Viviana Does Makeup and I just thought I love that but I didn't want to pay Essie prices and I think this was a lot less I think it was £4 maybe £3.99 £4.99 maybe at push I thought this was a really beautiful um, colour I liked the other colours as well but this was the one that I wanted and I just love it and I made it matte today um, and I think that just looks so stunning as a matte nail polish this hand is a bit rubbish so I don't want to show you that one but this one's okay and then Oh, I've got lipstick on my teeth. Finally, the Pièce de Résistance. This is the Tanya Burr Candy Glam Beauty Essentials Palette. This is the Christmas palette by Tanya Burr. And inside it has this, a mirror here, and these eyeshadows, a blush, a bronzer, and a lip gloss, which I thought was good. And it's actually got nine shadows in here. So that's really good. I'm going to open it and swatch it because 
I can't not do that. So um, I'm not a gloss fan, but I've heard really good things about her glosses um, or from other YouTubers. Doesn't mean that they're, they might not be right. Um, I can take this plastic off. It's so what a gorgeous present. It was £12 down to £10, so definitely worth picking up if you can. The reason I wanted to get this up was I got it at the beginning of the three for two. I thought that would be good. So this is the lip gloss in Daydream. And it is a sort of clear peachy, you can't really see it, peachy gloss. That felt really nice, you know. I'm going to put it over what I've got on now. Mm. Just got all pink on it, that's a shame. Um, yeah, the glitter's not too chunky. Re I, can't get, I can't get it back in. <laughs> I couldn't get the lid back on. I love that it's a little tiny one as well. Oh, look, you can see the pink in there. Now I've just ruined it. Really lovely one. I bet that's really nice on its own as well, just for a, a little shimmer. The gloss is, oh, it's got a really nice scent to it, really sweet. And it's a really nice, soft gloss. I can't describe it, but I'm quite shocked. No stickiness whatsoever. Really like that. We've got the Pretty Peony... Um, I love that they've got the names on it. She is a YouTuber, so she knows what we want. So this is the Pretty Peony Blush, and I will swatch that for you there. It's a gorgeous peachy colour with a bit of gold shimmer. There's a lot of makeup that looks like this, actually. Lots of blushes that is peachy with a gold shimmer, and I quite like that. It goes really well with that lip gloss. And then you've got a matte bronzer, and it's... I think it's meant to be cool toned. Let's have a look. Yeah, it is quite cool toned. That's lovely. Um, I quite like that. And I think that would suit anybody. Most skin tones. Most skin tones anyway. So I'm going to just swatch lightly. Because I don't want to ruin them too much. Because I haven't taken photographs. This is um, Snowflake. I'll just take a photo. Oh, wow. That was, whoa. That was so impressive. That is impressive. I'll swatch them on my arm. So that's Snowflake, and it's a white, um, is it shimmer or is it matte? Shimmer, it's definitely shimmer. Then we've got Chandelier. Oh my God, they're so soft. I really didn't expect that at all. That is Chandelier, that's gorgeous. It's a glittery um, gunmetal grey. Then we've got Plumberry. Well, that, this Plumberry looks incredible. I don't want to ruin the pattern oh I'm in love I'm in love with Plumberry look at that shade oh it's so beautiful creme brulee is this one here I really don't want to ruin any of these they're so soft oh creme brulee is nice as well nice shimmery coppery reddish rust color um you've got a few mattes in here as well which I really like date night in Paris see how these swatch that's nice I'm trying to just do light swatches that's gorgeous date night in Paris is this one and it's stunning ballet slippers let's see if I do it that finger is again a matte and it's a creamish color you can't really see it on my skin you can just see it there at the bottom I'm trying to work out if that's shimmery or not slightly shimmery baking brownies what lovely names. Oh, wow, look at that. Ah, oh, so nice. These are such beautiful colours. Teddy Bear, which is this one here. So that was Baking Brown is then Teddy Bear here. And actually, Teddy Bear would make a very nice um, brow powder, if necessary. This one here. And finally, Starry Night. Oh, that is, oh, God, the softest shadow ever. Let me just swatch that in. A gorgeous, taupey bronze. Just stunning. I'm gutted that I've just sort of messed that up. But what a stunning. Oh, it's gorgeous. And do you know what? This is ideal for Christmas for somebody. Um, anybody, even people who don't know who Tarnu Bear is, this is just ideal. The packaging is adorable. I mean, look at that. It is what's this cardboard but it very secure the the magnet feels really secure here it folds over the mirror is not obviously massive but it is big enough 
um oh it's so adorable everything everything about this is gorgeous and i just love that the they're quite autumnal colors in there even though it's a winter time um palette for the you know the holidays this is stunning i am in love i cannot wait to use it i cannot wait to show you all i probably will do this in palette toba i just can't wait to dip into it so very very excited and if you ordered any any three items you ordered you got a bag um, and I ordered six items on the three to two and you get a free canvas bag and you know I'm very excited about this because but Russell 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 last time they did those makeup bags and I was like I don't need any more makeup bags but I certainly need these canvas bags and it says that party hashtag that party feeling um, I love a good canvas bag they're so useful for so many things um, especially if you shop in places well now you have to pay 5p a bag um, in um, in thingy shops these are really good for reuse about reuse, reusable bags oh my god I'll get there in the end anyway that is it that's the haul thank you so much for watching and let me know what you think um, do you think I'm a bit mental that's number one um, comment down below if you've bought any of those palettes if any of those ones that I got from Makeup Revolution are your favourites if you want to see a look with any of those let me know I'm um, and let me know what you think of the Tanya Bear one. I am so excited about those. I think I didn't, these are light swatches. I really didn't want to mess them up um, too much. So that's why they look like they do. So anyway, I look, I've sort of slunk down a bit. I'm so sorry. Let's move back a bit. Here we go. Um, anyway, I will see you all in my next video for sure. Uh, it, I'm just so excited. I love doing YouTube and I love interacting with you guys and I just get so excited to do videos and do hauls and show you the stuff I have and declutter and do all of that stuff. So, you know, I, I sound excited, don't I? Anyway, um, I'll see you all in Palettober if you're joining me there. Um, and um, I have actually got all my haul videos now in a playlist, so I will put a card up there and put the playlist up there if you want to go and have a look. I look forward to seeing you all very, very soon. Um, lots and lots of hugs from me. I'm just so excited. I think it's because um, I went and did my Avon today and I'm literally, I'm making so much money from Avon, which I never expected. I've um, done it before and then I've always had my hands in, sort of, you know, kept in touch with the people that I always did. And now I've moved here, I've found that I've got a really good customer base and it is worth that first run where you go and deliver to every single house on your round, it's worth doing it because if you get two or three people ordering 20 quid at a time and you're making, let's say you have eight streets, that's 60 quid at eight streets, 140 pounds, you're making, um, it's not 140, is it? Eight by six is 48, no. What's six, eight? Yeah, 48, 40, 34, 30, <gasps> What are six eights? It, it's got to be 48 because 56 is seven by eight. Okay, 48. So 480 pounds out of that whole round and you make a quarter, so 100 quid. You make 100 and you're not doing that much. Like, and then you do that every, you know, three or four weeks. It's just going into the wedding fund. How exciting. I'm sorry, it just makes me excited. I love making money and I love working with makeup, so it kind of works for me. Anyway, best go. I'll join me all soon and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.